Bonsoir. Good evening to you. Televio stands for joining us in this edition of the 8 p.m. Balingua newscast on Equinox Television, Cameroon's Ministers of Communication and Territorial Administrations have condemned the recent protest march by uh, the militant supporters and sympathizers of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement Party Saturday. They say the protest by the said party and uh, at promoting violence in Cameroon and equally in the diaspora where the embassies of Cameroon were attacked and also we will be telling you in this newscast as in sport as uh, sport lovers in Cameroon have described as shameful the launch of the football season in Cameroon as uh, the launch with Saturday failed in Yaoundé and equally in Matthew's program for today equally did not take place. Details and more in this 8 p.m. newscast. Bonsoir, Julien Bev. Good evening to you once more. Televios, thanks for staying with us for the second segment of the newscast. We told you in a list story how the Cameroonian government has condemned the peaceful nation protest march by the Cameroonians Movement Party Saturday, according to the Minister of Communication, Rene Manuel Sadi. The protest march by the CRM Party is illegal, unfounded and uh, also destructive he says those who mastermind that the arts have been arrested and will face the law take a listen to him as he was speaking at a press conference in yaoundé saturday evening these demonstrations the crm intended as usual to push our compatriots at home and abroad to defy the republican order with slogans of rebellion and insurgency against legal and legitimate institutions it should be noted that all over the national territory, Cameroonians went about their business throughout the day in all serenity. Nevertheless, some attempts to disrupt public order and defy Republican institutions were recorded in the towns of Mbuda, Bafusam, Yaoundé, and Douala. After making a fair judgment of the situation, the administrative authorities took the necessary security measures to preserve public order and bring the sponsors back to into compliance with the laws and regulations of the Republic. In Yaoundé, Bafusam and Buddha, several individuals caught in flagrante delicto, disrupting public order and perpetrating various assaults were arrested and placed in custody. 62 in Yaoundé, 42 in Bafusam and 13 in Buddha. In Douala, the forces of law and order were positioned at certain key points of the town. Some participants in this illegal march organized themselves in a particularly aggressive manner and took upon themselves to face and challenge the security forces in the executions of their traditional missions of preserving public order, showcasing restraint and professionalism the forces of law and order went on to issue formal warnings that were unfortunately not followed by the demonstrations. This led to a few clashes during which the security elements made use of regulatory logistics. It should be made clear on the basis of facts of absolute truth that no live ammunition was fired. Seven people were arrested and brought back to the headquarters of the CRM at New Daido in Douala 1 subdivision. In addition, six persons were slightly injured, including two well-known activists. Abroad, a hundred of CRM militants attacked Cameroon's embassy in Paris, France. After scaling the fence of the building hosting the embassy, they broke into the offices and ransacked every, everything on their way, causing huge damages. As we speak, these individuals have been taken out of the premises by the French forces of law and order. 
the government strongly condemns these unacceptable maneuvers to destabilize Cameroon under the false pretext of an alleged electoral holdup. Let us recall that Cameroon is and remains a rule of law where the devolution of power is done through the ballot box and not through violence or street demonstrations. And it should be noted that the Minister of Communication was flanked uh, by uh, Minister of Territorial Administration Paul Atanganji, who said that the continuous act by the Cameroonian Movement Party, led by Professor Maurice Kanto, if continuous, would no longer be tolerated. The Territorial Administration Board said playtime or break time is over, and those who have so far been caught in the web will face the law severely. Take a listen to him. The CRM political party and its leadership have been very notorious. Uh, we can no longer tolerate those who undermine the laws of the Republic. As I said earlier, the activities of all political parties are governed by laws which must be respected scrupulously. If you read these are the documents which were distributed in Douala today, by the MRC leader and their sympathizers. They went around recruiting young Cameroonians, paying them 5, 10, 20 thousand to go and dis distribute these illegal documents. And what is very conspicuous here, they are talking about uh, no to the electoral hold up, yes to the count of the ballots. Today we are the 26th of January 2019. How can we be talking about? counting the counting process after the elections four months after the results were officially proclaimed by the constitutional council i think that this is not serious and we have to denounce this attitude may i make this very very clear the crm political party and their leaders should not take the leniency of the government as a sign of weakness that will be a very big mistake. As from now henceforth, they will test the, bitter, the bitterness of our laws, which will be applied scrupulously. And the consequences are this can lead to temporary suspension of the activities of the po political party or a total ban of the political party. As for now, I wish to confirm what the Minister of Communication earlier said, that the forces of law and order have been very professional in containing the public dis disturbances resulting from the illegal rally staged by the CRM political party. The forces of law and order did not use any firearms to maintain peace and order. Any contrary information is fake news, which should not be granted any credibility. The Minister of Communication either gave you the statistics of those who have been held in custody. They will remain in custody and will face the charges when the time will come. And as I said earlier, as of now henceforth, the law shall be applied. Break time is over and justice will take its course. We were listening there to the Minister of uh, Territorial Administration, Paul Atanganji, after uh, communication, Minister Emmanuel René Sadi spoke. And we still continue talking about the uh, protest marched by the Cameroon Movement Party that took place in Buda, in the west region of the country. It should be noticed the party was protesting against electoral hold up and equally against continuous violence in the two English speaking regions of uh, Cameroon that has led to many deaths and equally inflicting pains on the population in Buda. The protest march was peaceful. No form of violence was recorded. No police elements reportedly shot on the uh, militants and supporters as well as sympathizers who turned out for the peaceful march in Buda. That's in the west region of uh, the country. And we come back here in the Little World region where the mass took place. It should be noted it was a calm that actually went in Douala. 
Today, after security forces Saturday repressively confronted unarmed peaceful Cameroonians movement, sharing protesters in several parts of Douala, especially in Makepe and the Douala 5 municipality, to disperse them, the peaceful protests, uh, protesters were tear gas and fired bullets, uh, as according to the Minister of uh, Territorial Administration and Communication, were not live bullets. Of course, the bullets uh, that sent the politician and Sierra militants, Lesson German and Barrister Michel Doki, and a couple of others to the hospital. Many others were tortured and others arrested. And the Sierra militants and supporters, led by Professor Maurice Camto, were protesting against continuous violence in Anglophone Cameroon, masterminded by defense and security forces that has uh, not only led to death but inflicted pain and suffering on the population also against electoral hold up and the uh, squandering of public funds meant for the organization of the 2019 afcon which as a result led to the withdrawal of the afcon rights from cameroon and on to this note it should be noted that the minister of uh, Labor and Social Security, Gregoire Ona, who is equally a member of the Central Citizen Committee, equally condemned the uh, protest march by the CRM party, notably those in the diaspora who went as far as ransacking the embassies of Cameroon in Paris as well as Berlin. The Sham supporters and sympathizers also protested, just like I mentioned, the diaspora, notably Germany, Berlin, London, and Paris, with gross destruction at the Cameroon embassies in Paris and Berlin. We now talk something else. This time we're telling you how the uh, inhabitants of Mbanga, that's in the Mungu division of the Little Wild region, are without portable water and the inhabitants have been getting water from doubtful sources to uh, consume the calling on competence authorities to intervene in order to save their health. Smanji Kangeber has more. It is from doubtful sources that inhabitants of Banga fetch water to use in their houses. This is so because their taps have gone dry without water for several years now. People say that there is water in Banga. There is no water in Banga. It's more than three years today. We don't have water. It's just uh, just of recent that water come. But where there is water, uh, water come in quarter seven just for a few days and now there is no water so we are really suffering please people should see into our matter because water is life without water we cannot make it the absence of the most valuable liquid in banga has made everyone to be on the move to search for the liquid which is considered to be life the claim by the water distribution company supplying water to the entire Banga town has been debunked by the inhabitants. When we talk about uh, water in Banga, I will say that it is not 100% because there are some quarters that do not have water. And when we look at it very well, some houses that have uh, taps, the taps are not flowing. But we discovered that along the road, you see pipes flowing, the water is flowing on, on pipes. So we don't understand the meaning of water has come to Banga. It is not doubt 100%. So we pray that if they want to talk about water that has come to Banga, let it be that all the quarters have water and the stray pipes should not be flowing. Let it flow in homes and in, in houses. The mayor of Banga, who also suffers from the absence of water, has called on the water distribution company to complete the work in Banga before celebrating victory. It's true that there has certainly been a work in amount on the Manjo, on the level of captage. It's true that work has been done at Manjo with water there, but the water doesn't go into houses because the pipes are all broken. If they want to claim victory about the flow of water in Banga, then they should ensure the whole town has water. Even myself, as mayor of Banga, water doesn't flow in my house. Moi qui suis maire par exemple, je n'ai pas de depuis trois ans et je ne l'ai pas non plus maintenant. The inhabitants of Banga have been for five years now without water and are now calling on the government to intervene since water is life. 
A news out of Cameroon, the United States, uh, Britain and the European Union have uh, expressed concerns over or after Nigeria's president uh, suspended the country's chief judge or chief justice three weeks before the presidential election with the U.S. warning it could cast a pile over the votes in the nation. President Muhammadu Buhari set up an uproar Friday by announcing the suspension citing uh, corruption allegations and the chief justice will play a key role in any legal challenge to the election in which Buhari seeks a second term. Thus, so the U.S. said Buhari acted without the support of the legislative branch and noted widespread criticisms in uh, Nigerian authorities to quickly resolve the crisis that uh, could undermine the credibility of the February 16 vote. Britain, in a separate statement, uh, said they are compelled to observe that the timing of this action so close to national elections give cause for concern. It risks affecting both domestic and international perceptions on the credibility of the forthcoming election. The European Union Observer Mission called on all parties to uh, respond calmly, and the Nigerian Bar Association has called uh, Boawi's move an attempted coup against the judiciary. Meantime, the Senate president said President Boawi in such a matter cannot act alone. Boawi had also said Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohamed will act as Nigeria's uh, most senior judge. And on to sports, sports lovers in Cameroon have described as shameful the uh, launch of the football season in the country. Uh, the football league hits by crisis fails to kickstart the professional elite one championship Saturday in a good note. Both teams, Young Sports Academy of Bamenda and uh, Edging Football Club of Lekia that were to play the opening encounter did not show up in Yaoundé after the colorful ceremony and matches built for the one this Sunday in stage across Cameroon did not take place as most of the elite one clubs they refused to show up in solidarity with the elite club street union that uh, began boycotting the competition over the crisis Ole Koton Sport of Garwa and the Futo Football Club uh, also showed up but uh, did not play because their rivals are young uh, football club and uh, equally start Renard respectively boycotted the uh, events. And that ends this edition of the 8 p.m. Balingua newscast on Equinox Television. Thanks so much for watching. We shall be back certainly tomorrow morning. Do have a splendid evening. Je l'aime bien. Bonne soirée. Je vous souhaite également de passer une très bonne soirée innocente à Zé. Mesdames et messieurs, c'est la fin de cette édition bilingue du journal. Merci de l'avoir suivi. Je vous conseille de ne pas changer de chaîne. Votre programme préféré, La Vérité en Face, c'est dans une poussière de secondes avec comme invité le professeur Titus Ezoa, ancien secrétaire général de la présidence de la République du Cameroun. Bonsoir.